the six Outlook rules that you should be using. The final email rule. So one day you get an email all about your taxes and you miss the email. So you don't pay your taxes. The next minute you're arrested and thrown in prison for a long, long time. Okay, maybe not. But we don't want to miss emails about taxes, do we? Or we don't want to miss other important emails. So why don't we pin emails that are important to the top of our inbox? That way, they're always there. Let me show you. So we're back in Outlook. You can see here I've got an email from HMRC, which is the government in the UK. So it must mean it's something about taxes. I don't want to miss this. I want to keep this at the top of my email. So I want to create a rule, okay? So go into rules again, mail rules. Okay, let's add a new rule. We'll call this a name, pin HMRC emails. So they're always at the top of my mailbox. Now, when it comes to conditions, we could use a couple of things. We could use subject body, so our subject body includes, and we could look at the word HMRC, okay? That would ensure it's done. Or again, we've used this before in the video, uh, we could use when it's from, and I could put in there the email address of the tax service. Either of those would work. And then the action simply is pinned to the top, okay? So anything from there, pin to the top. If we run this rule now, let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we are. So it's pinned to the top. Now, of course, I've not got many emails here. If you've got a, a few emails in your mailbox and you've got a few rules pinning important emails to the top, you might have several emails here delivered to you on different days, but they're all pinned to the top. So they will take your priority. They'll always be there when you need them. So that's the final tip.